Hey my friends, uh, today I'm going to tell you the story of uh, Narcissus. The river god Cephisus and uh, his wife the nymph uh, Liriope had a son. Uh, they named him uh, Narcissus and they thought that he was so handsome so they wanted to go see a, a prophet to ask how long their son was going to live. So they went and they saw uh, uh, a prophet named uh, Tiresias. He was the prophet of Apollo. And they asked him how long the son who was so handsome was going to live. And he said, huh, he, was gonna, he would live longer if he does not know himself. So he grew up, was so handsome. Many, many girls loved him, but he heartily rejected them. And then among those girls was uh, one that you know, called Echo. Echo loved Narcissus, but Narcissus did not care about Echo. And one of uh, the ladies that, who really loved Narcissus, who was rejected by Narcissus, prayed. And a goddess named Nemesis heard that prayer. And then she said, I'm going to punish that haughty man. And then one day, Narcissus went hunting as usual. He had a good time hunting and then he got tired and thirsty and he said, let me go get some water. And as he got closer to a pond that was at uh, Mount Helicon, he looked at his image. He looked at his face and said, oh, I am so handsome. Oh, I don't know who is like me. He forgot that he was thirsty. He forgot that he was hungry. He just stayed there for days, for weeks, for months, just staring at himself, gazing at himself, trying to catch his own image, but he could not do it, unfortunately. And uh, he wasted away. Poor him. And uh, Echo could not even talk to him, unfortunately, because it was just an echo of what she wanted to say. And the people were looking for him, searching for, for him. The searchers went. After a long time, they found the place where Narcissus was, and they just found some flowers there. And those flowers are called the Narcissus. The end of our story.